the captain. His vitals are fading. Please, chief, hurry. What's going on, everybody? I think he can wait. Uh, <laughs> what's going on, everybody? My name is Lieutenant Leroy. Welcome back to Halo Combat Evolved. This next part, you see, you'll see what it is. But a uh, little, little fun fact about the Halo lore. Uh, typically, the the flood. If you don't already know, is a hive mind species. They take over other creatures, and they pretty much think from one mind. But uh, oh, and that one central mind is a gigantic flood monster called the Grave Mind. And uh, before they can actually make a Grave Mind, the flood have to actually take over a certain amount of people. So pretty, pretty much before before the flood can really think as one central mind, all they think is. Uh, Pretty much just infect as many people as possible, which is the book's explanation for why they're so dumb in this game. At least the flood. But, um, because in the later games you see kind of the flood acts a lot differently. You actually speak to the hive mind in a couple of the games, and the flood actually ally with you for parts of the game and stuff like that because the hive mind because you're actually working alongside the hive mind or at least you have a common enemy you know but yeah so what you're gonna see once I get to the control room is the formation of the hive mind But yeah, these little, the little guys that blow up, those guys right there, what they actually are, are creatures, or pretty much any creatures that weren't seen by the hive mind, or by the flood as smart enough to really contribute anything, which is why it's only really the humans and the elites that are the, the big guys. So like the grunts and jackals. What they're being used for is just the little balloon blow-up guys. Because all they're really good for... They're not really contributing any intelligence to the hive mind or... Anything like that. But, uh... Once the hive mind is formed... The, uh... Or the grave mind is... Has started being formed. The uh, flood will actually choose one organism in order to become, or in order to be the central mind for the grave mind, which in this one it is actually Captain Keys. And there he is. Hang on a second. Here it is, I thought it was in this room. I forgot something. What did I... My name... I forgot. Oh, uh, keys. Jacob, Captain, service number 01928-19912-JK. What is that noise? What is that damn noise? Where am I? Yeah, I, I can't, I can't remember. 
keys, Jacob. Oh, God, it hurts. This will never work, you covenant bastards. I'll never lead you to Earth. Keys, Jacob, Captain. Service number 01928-19912-JK. Oh, God. You don't want Earth. You want everything. Get out of my head. Miranda, is that you? Forget everything. No, please. Don't let me forget. Keys. Jacob. Captain. Service number. 1928-19912-J. No more. What you were. Memories, emotions, all is now ours. Keys, take up, Captain, service number 01928-19912-JK. You will not have me! We already do. Damn. No human life signs detected. The captain, he's one of them. We can't let the flood get off this ring. You know what he'd expect. What he'd want us to do. It's done. I have the code. We should go. We need to get back to the Pillar of Autumn. Let's go back to the shuttle bay and find a ride. You. Go back to the shuttle bay and find a ride. want to see this real quick oh yeah much better in the new version
So yeah, what they just did was literally pull the neural interface out of his brain. Rather nasty. Alright, where are we going, Cortana? Give me waypoints. Come on. Oh, hello! Holy shit. That was insane. Ow! Oh, okay. I'm assuming it's this way because this is the way that it was in the Treats of Reconciliation. What the fuck, bro? Should we skip a whole section of the mission? Or actually play it the way it's meant to be played? Uh, we'll skip a section. Grab one of the escort banshees and we'll use it to return to the Pillar of Autumn. rank is this? Hang on, I want to see these guys up close. That's Spec Ops armor, but it's black. Holy shit. Alright, let's go. Alright, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna play the last mission on the hardest difficulty. On the legendary. And see how long it takes us to finish it. Mainly because I want to show you all the extra little bit at the end. If they have it, at least. I'm pretty sure they will. But we'll see. Alright, 
Now we're going to play the last mission on the hardest difficulty, but we're going to do it next episode. But it's going to be it's going to be rather difficult cuz I'm also going to be looking for all the easter eggs in this in this level, which there are a lot of them. A lot of them. I think there's like four or five easter eggs. But that's okay, we're going to try for them. So this is going to be fun. So, uh, thank you all for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Do what you do. See you all later.